Good day, everyone. My name is Sifu Cindy Cicero, and I'm the Director of Operations at the School of Chi Energy Hills. And today we're going to do a teleconference on what is bioenergy and biophotons. And my trip to the Rhine Center in Durham, North Carolina, is going to be talked about uh, in a science background along with energy work. And today I have with me Sifu Rob Jones and Sifu Don Brown. And hello, gentlemen. How's it going? Um, today we're going to go over bioenergy and biophotons because that's really what we um, are teaching students to build up this type of, of energy so that it's a lot stronger in their own body in our school. And by doing that, you can learn to improve your overall health and actually learn a whole bunch of pretty cool type of techniques. Uh, Don, uh, introduce yourself. Don Brown, and I'm here to maybe shed a little bit of light about the very nature of not just biophotons, but how they uh, play in the electromagnetic spectrum and what they really mean, especially with photons and the nature of the basic building blocks of, of the universe. Exactly. And, and what, what we're talking about here is uh, we had Sifu Cicero go to the Rhine Institute, who, which has machines um, that do measure bioenergy, and, and that's what we wanted to show students, this credible way of that they're using now to measure the energy that our own bodies put off. And, you know, that's the amazing thing about, you know, being in today's world is like years before we had n nothing like this with technology. We didn't really know how things like this worked. We didn't know that there were even things called biophotons. So, you know, the, it's a really cool how much the science has improved. It's, um, you know, we got machines now that measure everything. <laughs> and, you know, now they're measuring our actual energy off the body and they're calling it bioenergy, and it breaks down into these biophotons. And t tell, tell the students a little bit about what biophotons really are. A biophoton is uh, basically a, a photon, a packet of light energy that the body actually produces. Um, we usually think of photons coming from uh, the sun. We think of photons uh, and light coming from different objects like... Uh, Stars and maybe even we turn on the light, it's something that's external to the human body. But uh, German scientist uh, Fritz Albert Popp discovered that the human body emits light even at a cellular level. Cells actually use light to communicate uh, in and of themselves, and throughout the body, they send information and, and signals through photons. And generally speaking, most photons and the biophotons uh, from the body are considered to be not as high energy as a traditional photon, but through research and things like uh, Cicero experience at the Rhine Institute, uh, it shows that the biophoton can gain energy and actually go into greater levels in the electromagnetic spectrum even reaching um, up to ultraviolet rays. And they're not quite sure um, how far that actually would reach. I mean, what we're teaching the students is to get already into the ultraviolet range and show that part right there that, you know, that is indeed what was happening there is when she would register on the machine that what she was putting off was a significant amount of biophotons. And, you know, the thing about biophotons it's hard to understand how that is bioenergy, but it's basically the usable part of bioenergy. You know, energy is um, made up of, uh, of atoms, per se, and electrons, neutrons, protons, the nucleus and stuff. And the, the part that the biophoton plays in this is it's the usable part of that atom or the part where the major information like memories like that would be stored or, you know, as we use biophotons, we kind of get this bounce back effect that we put out biophotons, both biophotons come back at us. And it's a way of communicating that is kind of on this subconscious way. You know, there's a lot of different things you can do with biophotons. Uh, one of the things that I saw that they're beginning to not just speculate but go into and actually confirm that 
uh, all living creatures uh, kick off biophotons on some level, and they're starting to think that, hey, maybe this is how migratory birds uh, know to hold a pattern together, and this is how schools of fish communicate. And actually, on that cellular level, a borderline unconscious just know to form that school and everybody stays in their lane, stays in their place and keeps that shape uh, and it's conducive to uh, migratory birds flying because it actually makes it easier for the birds to fly, it creates uh, less drag and more lift and things of that nature and same with fish when they're in uh, schools and they're swimming, it keeps them safer from predators and at the same time reduces the effort that each single fish would have to use in order to swim and so there's so many different uh, ways of using bioenergy that and biophotons were just at the at the beginning the tip of the iceberg of really uh, becoming aware of our own potential and then the fact that we are made out of light it is mind-blowing in and of itself it really is and now we know that even one biophoton um, will contain all your genetic information and that each one can carry more than four megabytes of information. And it's funny how your DNA even weighs in there at this point because, like, your DNA will vibrate, you know, at the same freight frequencies as what we use as mass communication cell phones and different things like that. It's funny that that you you know we don't think you know because DNA is so small and everything you wouldn't think of something like that would be in some kind of vibration state but that's really what we have found out that everything vibrates you know everything is in motion that you can see or look around even though in in our minds when we look around we don't see the ground moving or anything but it is it's certainly moving we know that everything is in motion and so if you understand that how emotion really works and what we're getting to that there is a significance to light and to the light that we can put off our body you can use this information in, in, in a lot of ways and what we're finding out now is that uh, the light filled waves um, that we put out around us basically hold our long term memories you know they thought for the longest time that your memories um, that you have through life are stored up in the brain and, and now really what they're finding out is because of these biophotons bio being able to hold, you know, so much information that these this information is caught up in these field waves around us, and they really do contain our long-term memories. And something else that I found interesting um, in my research is that they're likening now our nervous system uh, less of the speaker wires and more to that of fiber optics simply because they're realizing that these biophotons are going through a body and are actually transmitted along our nervous fibers as well. Yeah, and they actually are broadcasting and receiving back information um, all the time that really is affecting every part of our lives. And, you know, we, we really didn't realize it was on such a minute level like this, but, you know, the more that science is really studying how these photons work, they're kind of blown away that it, it, it works in the way it works. I mean, um, the, the way that uh, science is changing is... You know, really amazing, isn't it? Very true. Very true. Things like, you know, every cell in your body has 100,000 chemical reactions happen in it per second. You know, and something is just as small as just a single cell to have that many, you know, chemical reactions per second. So you're, you're in a constant state of this motion and, this, and um, there's this constant movement. And, and now that we know that we're putting out actual, you know, biophotons or this measurable light, you know, in the experiment, you know, if you, if you watch the video, it'll explain, you know, how photons are picked up on this, this sheet, and that's how they know that, you know, one person is putting off this amount or another person is putting out another amount. What we're showing students how to do is how to build up their internal system so that they're building up the nerve fibers of their body or these fiber optics, like you say. And by doing that, by making that whole process stronger, we're, we're showing this cause and effect of being able to omit 
more biophotons, and and that's what you know Cindy showed as a result of taking and, and doing that test, and to be able to control it, and and that's the other main thing that we really wanted to get across to students is not only are we going to show them that it's a viable thing that we're putting off bio energy and that it's picked up as bio photons, you know, uh, in the way that you know they're using machines now, so that there is this actual checking that you can see that, okay,